Have you ever started a new project, excited to start building, only to get hit in the face by the most annoying decisions? Next UI or chart CN, which should I choose for this project? It's a tough choice I know, and making the wrong decision can mean headache down the line. So in this video, we are going to be solving this problem by breaking down the two most popular UI libraries, Next UI and chart CN. I'll be walking you through the key features, strengths and weaknesses so that you can decide on which is perfect for your new project. But before we get started, I just want to say thanks for liking the video and for those who subscribed, you're really cool. And without any further delay, let's jump right in. First up, let's talk about Next UI. It's a modern React based UI library that focuses on speed, ease of use and customization. You could think of it as a first aid kit packed with everything you need to save a patient. I don't know if you noticed it, but I'm a kind of visual learner. I like visualizing concepts in my mind so I can easily understand and remember them. So you'll be getting a lot of analogies all through this video. So I hope you love analogies. One of the best things about Nextia is how easy it is to use. And I mean really easy. You don't need to spend hours going through the documentations to get started. Just install it and like that, you're ready to start building. The API is super intuitive and teaming your app is really made easy. With a few lines of code, you can customize the look and feel of your app. It's that easy. Here's a quick demo of how to get started with Next UI. You see how easy it is? Very simple, very clean. It's not like other UI libraries. It's very mindful, very elegant, very demure. Let's talk about the pros and cons of using Next UI. Because when you think of it, everything in life has pros and cons. Nothing is completely advantageous, and at the same time, nothing is completely disadvantageous. On the plus side, Next UI is fast, easy to set up, especially when you're using it with Next.js. It has a pretty solid documentation. The documentation is easy to read and understand, and the demo components are fun to test out plus they are so responsive. While on the other hand, Next UI isn't as extensive as other UI libraries. The amount of components and its variations currently created as of today is not as much compared to others. So if you're looking for something super specialized, you might find yourself wishing for more options and variations. Now let's switch gears and talk about ChartCN. ChartCN is not a component library, I just wanted to add it there before it continued. So ChartCN is built on top of Radix, and for those who are wondering what Radix is, Radix is an open source component library, just like your normal component library, but unlike them, Radix is focused on accessibility and maintainability. They are basically throwing style in out window. When you look at it closely, ChartCN is basically Radix plus basic styling. So if next year it focuses on being flashy and stylistic, ChartCN focuses on simplicity and maintainability. ChartCN shines when it comes to accessibility. It follows the best practices right out of the box. So if making a web app accessible across the entire web on any device is a top priority, ChartCN is a great choice, plus it's super flexible. You can compose components in a way that fits your need without being locked in a rigid design system, unlike Next UI. Here's how easy it is to get started using ChartCN. With a few lines of code, you're fully set and ready to go. Alright, time for the pros and cons. On the plus side, ChartCN is all about accessibility and flexibility, and it integrates with Tailwind right out of the box. So if you're a Tailwind freak like me, that's a huge bonus. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I wrote plain CSS code for the entirety of a project. So on the downside of using ChartCN, it has a steeper learning curve compared to next year, especially if you're just starting out. I know as Component Library, the learning curve for picking up a new CSS library isn't that steep, if it's at all steep. I should call it a kind of slight depression instead of calling it steep. Anyways, let's see how these two libraries compare head to head with each other. Let's start with the ease of use. Next year brings this around if you're looking for something that's quick to pick up and start using. It's beginner friendly with a gentle learning curve. ChartCN on the other hand is a bit more demanding. You have to spend quite some time getting used to it, but once you do, you appreciate its flexibility. Alright, when it comes to customization and theming, both libraries offer great options, but the approach is kind of different. Next year makes theming very simple with an intuitive system that lets you change your app's entire look in just few lines of code. While on the other hand, ChartCN is more flexible, but it requires a bit more work to get things just right. It's perfect if you want more control over every little detail of your design. Performance-wise, both libraries perform well, but next year it tends to be a bit faster right out of the box, especially for smaller projects. I don't really know why, but my guess is it's more optimized than ChartCN 
for less complicated projects that needs only few components. Finally, let's talk about the components. Next year, first avenge your previous components, which is great if you need to move quickly. But chat here and takes the crown here. Because not only does it have more previous components than next year, its components are highly customizable and built with accessibility in mind. So which one should you choose? Here's the breakdown. If you're working on a smaller project or you're just getting started, next year is probably the better option. It's fast, easy to use and it gets the job done with minimum hassle and that's very demure. In my experience, both libraries have their places. I've used next year when I want to get the projects off the ground quickly, like a simple landing page, and it has never let me down. I remember that the next year team got accepted into Y Combinator, so that's great news, I guess. I'll be expecting more creative and awesome companies from them in the future, so hopefully they deliver. On the other hand, Chartsyn is mostly used for larger and more intricate projects where flexibility and accessibility are very important, like large web apps. Now it's your turn. Give both of these libraries a try and see which one fits your project best. And hey, if you're enjoying this video and you want me to dive deep into development tools like frameworks, libraries, or APIs, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our community. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. So let's recap which is the best UI library, Chartian or Next UI? In my personal opinion, scrap all of them. Let's go with the good old plain CSS. Back in my days, we had no UI libraries or any sort of that. We had to build everything we needed from scratch, brick by brick. That's probably what the developer all this will be saying right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Before you go, check out this video on ChartCN. I think you might really like it and it might help you make a more informed decision. You can never know. And if you're not subscribed yet, let's stay that way. Don't even subscribe and don't even like the video. <laughs> So this is how you play reverse psychology.